Hi, kindergarten friends. This is Mrs. Haz. Today we're going to be doing science together, and our topic is going to be living things and non living things. So, I made this little anchor chart that we're going to go through together before we read our story. It says living things. Living things eat, grow, reproduce, which means that they have babies or they lay eggs and breathe. So some examples I drew were a boy, birds, trees, and whales. These are all examples of living things. Below here, it says non-living things. Non-living things do not eat, grow, reproduce, and breathe. So some examples would be a shirt, pizza, a kite, a pencil, and books. Okay, so we're going to read this story together, Is It Living? And I'm looking at this picture and I see this beautiful, beautiful lion. So does a lion grow? Yes, it does. Does it move? It sure does move. Does it lay eggs or have babies? Yeah, it has babies. And does it need food and water to survive? Yes, it needs both. So this would be considered a living thing. So I'm gonna show you a couple pictures and I have the questions down below. So these are the four things that you wanna think about when you're looking at the picture to try to decide whether it's a living thing. So our picture is a snake. Does the snake grow, move, reproduce or lay eggs and have babies? Does it need food and water? It sure does, it needs all those things. It does all those things. So that would be considered a living thing. How about this teddy bear? Does a teddy bear grow? No, it doesn't. Does it move? No, not unless we pick it up and move it. How about, does it lay eggs or have babies? No, that's silly. How about food and water? Does it need food and water to survive? No, so the teddy bear would be considered a non-living thing. Oh, how cute. So we have two animals. Do they grow? Yes, they do. Do they move? Yes, they both move. How about, do they have babies? Yeah, they both eventually will probably have babies. How about food and water? Do they need food and water to survive? Yeah, they do. So these would be considered living things. Living things move. Living things grow and change. So here we have a little chick that came from the egg and then that chick is gonna turn into this big chicken here. Living, living things breathe. So you can see here the fish has these little bubbles that come up, that's him breathing underwater. Living things reproduce, which means they make more just like themselves. So you see the little kitten and the baby. Living things need food and water to live. We couldn't survive if we didn't have food and water. Here's a challenge question. Do you think that this picture is of a living thing? Take a few minutes and explain to somebody at home. All right, now let's look at the picture together. Does a turtle grow? Yeah, it sure does. Does he move? Well, they may move a little slow, but they certainly do move. Do they lay eggs? They sure do. And do they need food and water to survive? Absolutely, so a turtle would be considered a living thing. Last picture. Do you think this is a living thing? Hopefully you said yes. Starfish actually do grow and they move, but they do move very slowly and they actually lay eggs. They also need food and water to survive. So starfish, which this is a beautiful starfish, these also are considered living things. I hope you enjoyed our little